Officially known as crayfish, some people call them crawfish, while others call them crawdads. I grew up calling them crawfish. And when you think of places where crawfish are abundant, you probably think of places like the Louisiana Bayou, the rivers of Mississippi, or even Alabama where I spent some time growing up. The mountains of Colorado probably don't even cross your mind. But if you know where to look, crawfish can be found throughout the Colorado Rockies. Shortly before Independence Day, I took my boys up into the mountains. We weren't planning on fishing for crawfish. Our goal was to scout out some possible campsites and then come back at a later date to go camping. We decided to drive through one of the many canyons that formed in this state thousands of years ago after Noah's flood. The drive up is always beautiful with tall canyon walls on one side of the road and a river running along the other side. On the way up, the boys wanted to get out and walk through this tunnel we were driving through. Good job, me. One, two, three, four. It looks like you found your way into the earth. Daddy, what's this on that? Huh? How did all this dirt get on the entire thing? You like you can see the rock over it. This dirt covering the entire thing. We decided to check out the river next to the road, but unfortunately it was dry. Unfortunately, the recent drought has not been kind to the crawfish population here. After leaving the dry riverbed, we continued driving further up the road to find a campsite. A little further up the road, we got out and started walking again. We ended up finding a campsite right next to the dry riverbed. Another campsite was right next to it with beautiful views of the canyon walls. This area also still had a small stream flowing nearby. Salamanders! That, that both, na, 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 na. And to our surprise, we actually found some live crawfish in the water. Jackson didn't seem that excited about them though. Jaden and Jeremiah had no problems catching the crawfish, but Jackson was still a little apprehensive of the little creatures. We walked a little further and came across a large pool of water. The boys decided to keep searching for crawfish.
They even tried throwing rocks into the water, thinking maybe they could scare the crawfish out of their hiding spots. Eventually though, it was time to head back. Having found our future campsite, as well as an abundance of live crawfish, we knew that our next camping trip would be amazing and delicious. 